Setting up ORF in an application doesn't need to be difficult. Traditionally, ORF can be quite difficult and time consuming to set up. There's some great products out there such as Clerk, which allow you to set up ORF really quickly and really simply in projects with Next.js. So today we're gonna to be looking at how to set up Clerk in an Next.js app through a project in just a few simple steps. Let's get into it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to head over to the Clerk dashboard. If you don't already have an account, you can create one. And then once you're logged into your account, you'll approach this screen. Here, I already have an existing project for a previous tutorial I've done. So all I'm gonna do is create add application. Then on this page, we can name our application. So I'm just gonna call this Clerk Tutorial. And then for the, how we want users to sign in, we're just gonna select email address. I'm gonna unselect Google for now. You can also add that in if you want, but I'll have some extra configuration steps. But for this tutorial, we're just going to use the email address. Then we're gonna press create application. That'll then take us to this page, which is how we can configure and use our application. So at this point, all we need to do from here is we just need to copy our environment variables, which you can see right in front of you here. And then we're gonna jump over to Next.js where we're gonna add them into the project and start setting up Clerk in Next.js. So as you can see, we're in VS Code now with our Next.js project open. And this is just a boilerplate Next.js project you can get from running Create Next app. All I've done is installed things like Prettier and stuff just for some styling and I've updated the home page just to have the word home in rather than the normal stuff you see when you start a Next.js project. So inside our project, we're gonna take our environment variables that we got from Clerk and we're gonna put them into an env.local file, just like so. And then with that, the next step we're going to do is we're going to install the Clerk Next.js package. We can do that with npm i at clerk slash Next.js. And we're gonna wait for that to finish installing. So now with the Clerk Next.js package installed, the next thing we need to do is wrap our entire application in the Clerk provider. So to do that, go over to your layout file. And then inside of here, we're then gonna wrap our entire project using the Clerk provider component from Clerk Next.js, which then looks like this. So now with our application wrapped in the Clerk provider, we're almost ready to actually use Clerk. All we need to do now is to create a middleware file which will tell Clerk which files need to be protected behind authentication and which ones don't. This will allow you to have public pages which people who aren't signed in can view, and then pages which are protected by the authentication. So if they're not signed in, they'll be redirected to sign in. So to do that, we're going to create a new file in the root of the project called middleware.ts. And now with our middleware file created, we're just going to paste into it this basic configuration, which will add auth to our entire project from Clerk. Now with our middleware configured, we can start up our application and see the app being protected by Clerk. So we can do that just by running npm run dev in our terminal. And then we can head over to our browser where we'll see the application being rendered. So here we are in the browser. If I head over to localhost 3000 where the server's running, you can see that we're instantly redirected to the Clerk page here. This is because our entire application is now protected behind the Clerk authentication. But what we can do at this point is we can sign up for an account using Clerk and we'll be redirected to the home page. So let's do that now. I'm just gonna go through the sign up flow here, filling in my email address and an example password that we can use. So I've just filled in that. This will then ask me for a code, which I'll just fill in from my email quickly. So then with that code now filled in, we get redirected back to our application. And now you can see we're back on our homepage of our application, which was protected by the authentication previously. When I weren't signed in, I was redirected to Clerk. Now, when I refresh the page, I just see our application because we are signed in. So at this point, we've managed to set up Clerk, create an account, sign in and access a protected route. But now let's set up signing out. So to do that, we're gonna head back over to VS Code where we're going to use a custom component from Clerk, which handles this for us. So let's do that now. So back in VS Code in our application, we're gonna head over to the home page, which is just here under page.tsx. And then we're gonna add in the custom component from Clerk, which allows us to sign up. So to do that, it's just this called user button. And then we're gonna pass in the after sign out URL with the home page URL. So what will happen here is when they sign out, they'll get redirected to the home page. Clerk will then identify that they're not signed in and they'll be prompted to go back to Clerk to sign in. Of course, what you could do in an action application is you could have this point to a sign in page so that when they sign out, they get redirected to the sign in page of your application or some other page that you want them to see. So now with this configured, let's head back over to our application. So here we are in the browser. You can see here, we now have this um, button that appears here, which when you click on it, it says manage account, sign out in your email address. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna push sign out. And you can see here, we're now redirected back to Clerk because we don't have an active session anymore. And then if I was to now go and sign in using the detail that I signed up with earlier, you can see here, we're redirected back to our application again. 
which is under the protected roots. And then we have this button again, which allows me to sign out again. If I was to sign out, I'd be redirected back to Clerk. So at this point, we now have a fully protected application in Next.js using Clerk that users can now sign in and sign up and sign out with, and then they'll be able to see the protected roots inside the application. But what happens if you had some pages that you didn't want to be behind authentication, for example, sign in and sign up pages, which typically you want to be able to use for users to authenticate themselves with the application so that you don't want them being protected by the auth. So Clerk does have support for that. So all we need to do is we need to update our middleware function. So let's jump over to VS Code and do that. So in VS Code, we're going to head over to our middleware file. And then inside this auth middleware function, all we're going to do is going to use the public roots property, which takes an array. And then inside that, we just pass the roots that we don't want to have behind authentication. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass in a new root we can create yet, just called slash public. So then to demonstrate this, I'm going to create a new slash public page in our application. And then we can see this public root property working. So to do that inside the app directory here, I'm just going to create a new folder called public. And then a new file called page.tsx to make a new root in Next.js. And I'm just going to paste in some boilerplate code, which will create a new public page in Next.js for us. So then back in the browser, we can now head over to our slash public page that we just created. And now you can see here we have this page. But of course, at this point, we are still authenticated with Clark, which we want to now test the fact that we're not authenticated and we can still access the public page. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign out. That will then redirect me to Clark because remember, the home page is protected by Clark. And then I'm going to head to localhost 3000 slash public. And you can see here, we're not authenticated with Clerk, which is why we got redirected to the sign-in page, but I can still access this public page because we added it in the middleware as a public route. So Clerk knows not to protect it and it lets us access it. But if I was to go back to the home page of localhost 3000, I would be redirected because that route is still protected by Clerk in the middleware function. And that's it, that's brought us to the end of this tutorial. In this tutorial, we've looked at how we can protect a Next.js app room application using Clerk. But before finishing, I did just want to mention that with Clerk, everything you saw in this tutorial, that's a hosted page or a component provided by them, you can do completely custom on your own if you want to. You would by no means have to use their hosted pages and hosted components, and you can create completely custom ones. But for the sake of simplicity and to show how you can get started and add authentication to a project in just a few minutes, I use their hosted pages. But if you'd be interested in seeing a tutorial of building custom sign-in pages and custom sign-out components, make sure to drop a comment down below and let me know. And I'll make sure to link all of the documentation and blog posts where you can learn more about Clerk and Next.js in the description down below. And until next time, thanks for watching.